Get up, get up, get up, get up. Come on. All right, 19 minutes after 7 o'clock. Beautiful Tuesday morning. Look at that beautiful day out there, huh? It is gorgeous. It is May 19th, 2015, and uh, good morning, Robin. How are you? Good, good, good. How are you, Larry? Good. 69 degrees yeah. here at the studios of The Source, WOCA, broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall just outside the WOCA commissary, less affectionately known as the food court. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Today's forecast. Real quickly. Uh huh. A little bit of rain. Oh, okay. High temperatures around 92 degrees. Okay. Lows tonight about what they were last night, 68. Nice. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs around 90. Mm -hmm. Thursday, a little bit of rain, highs around 90. Friday, Mm -hmm. a little bit of rain. Wow, highs 96 on Friday. Wow. Wow. And the weekend. Bikini weather. Bikini weather. Yep. Time to go to the beach. <laughs> uh, so, good morning. Let's see what we have on the uh, schedule this morning. 7.35. Bob Baboian is coming on. He's an auto industry consultant. He's a corrosion expert. Mm-hmm. And he's a fellow at the National Association of Corrosion Engineers. Yes, he is. Man, I wonder what the centerfold in there magazine looks like. <laughs> I bet it's pretty hot. How to inspect and protect your car, boat, and household from corrosion. You know, there are some times when we have guests who have bring something to the show that has never been discussed before. Yeah. And this is one of those times. <laughs> In all the years we've been doing this. <laughs> exactly. Uh, news, uh, 748 or so. This, uh, there are a few things in the news that I wanted to discuss. Um, the Patriot Act is nearing its sunset. And I wanted okay. to maybe talk about that. Okay. Uh, I also maybe want to talk to you about the laser cannon that can destroy orbital debris that would be in the hands of the astronauts on the space station. Oh, wow. Cool. It's kind of cool if you think about it. I mean, that's a neat thing to have. But you mean to tell me we have something like that? Yeah. I mean, what's that for? It's to destroy. So so if you're up in space and, and mm-hmm. something is coming at you and you don't want it to hit you because it could kill you, uh-huh. you shoot it with this laser and it destroys the thing, mm-hmm. which means we have that. If they're saying they're going to use that, that means we have that. And if we have that there, then we have that here. Exactly. Which, hello... <laughs> We can't zap ISIS right off the map with a laser <laughs> cannon. I mean, come on, guys. It's just it's just an interesting little tidbit of information, isn't it? Yeah. Um, interesting. So I don't know. I mean, there's not going to be much time in 12 minutes to discuss a whole lot of that, but I'll try to bring it up. Uh, news Bites, that's when we refrain from silly, and we refrain, although there is one nice silly one in there. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. There's a funny story in there. <laughs> There's a guy, I'll tell you. I, I'm, you know who comes to mind is Dan Gear because when we were waiting for Terry Bradshaw the other day, Dan came up to us and he says he only mm-hmm. gets to hear this part of the show right here, which means he doesn't get to hear the stuff later on. Yeah. Although you can listen to the to the recordings. Yes, you can. But anyway, They're Dan, this is for you because I know you'll miss this story and you'll probably appreciate it. So there was a guy arrested. He was arrested for mm-hmm. playing a guitar at, at a rock concert. Oh, well, he was competing with the band. He's in the audience. He brought his little amp with him. Oh, <laughs> He's gee. playing the guitar. <laughs> so he gets a, So that? he gets arrested. I guess it's not a major offense. Anyway, uh-huh. he's sentenced, sentenced to house arrest for 30 days. Oh, my gosh. He informs the judge mm-hmm. that at home he's a nudist. Yeah. And asks the judge, will I be allowed to continue my nude practice while I'm home? <laughs> <laughs> And he says, sure, no problem. Now, there's a female parole officer assigned to his case. <laughs> He's like 36. She's 41. I thought, wow, oh, this, okay. is, this is like the makings of a sitcom, yeah. this story. I just thought, funny story. Anyway, She better wear her body cam when she goes to that house. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that way she's protected. <clears throat> just to be sure, yeah. Yeah. And maybe she doesn't want to wear it, maybe. <laughs> exactly. She, oh, oh, the darn thing's on the fritz, guys. Sorry she, about she's that. She's his elder. She's a little tiny bit older. Exactly. Than she's a cougar. But anyway. anyway. Mrs. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny story. So anyway, but other than that, in news bites, we turn off the silly. But that one is not us. That just happens to be a silly story. Yeah. It's not our fault they have silly stories in the news. No, but you got to have those. Uh, Carol Ann Baldwin will be here at uh, 9 to 5. She's a master gardener. She'll answer your questions about your lawns and your gardens. And there is yep. one story in the news I wanted to bring to Carol Ann's attention. 
Mm-hmm. The White House says, I guess that would mean the Obama administration says, yes. that pesticide limits may be needed to save the bees. So I wanted to ask Carol Ann to comment on that. Mm-hmm. It, it, uh, something Carol Ann says all the time comes to mind is that we have a tendency as people to not follow label instructions. Yeah. And so if you have instructions on your pesticides and you're not using them, that's probably the real problem. Not that we're using too much. Well, not that we, well, we are yeah. using too much, but it's our own doing. It's not that the labeling or the laws aren't right. Yeah. It's that we're disobeying the law. So like they like don't the guy need... playing a guitar at the rock concert. <laughs> well, they don't need another law. I don't know why. There was, with everything going on in the world, the Obama administration needs to be an expert on the bee population. <laughs> <laughs> That's for the B-roll. That's right. Uh, Ten oh five. Stephen Yaffa is coming on. He's a playwright. He's an award-winning screenwriter. Some of his projects include movies made by MGM, made with Michael Douglas in them, made by Paramount, Columbia. How did Michael Douglas get thrown into a bunch of studios? Oh, because because he's he's like his own studio oh, he unto is? himself. He makes movies and he doesn't act in them. Anyway, Stephen Yaffa is also, I didn't know that, he's also a journalist. He contributes to Salon Magazine, Playboy Magazine, Details Magazine, Rolling Stone Magazine. He's also writing for the Rotarian, the San Francisco <laughs> Chronicle. He runs the gamut. He's a wine producer of Pinot Noir in the Russian River region of West Sonoma. Whatever. <laughs> he goes all over the world. Wow. This guy. Is anyway, what a, what a set of credentials. Uh, yeah. And we've talk, spoken to him before about have Wheat we? Belly. About what? Wheat Belly. Wheat Belly. Book, wheat Belly. Oh, all right. A couple other books. He's got a book called Grain of Truth, one. The Real yeah. Case for and Against Wheat and Gluten. Mm-hmm. Joe Reichel will be here at 1035. He is, uh, of course, with Damage Control Services. He'll tell you what you can do if you're trying to do a do-it-yourself repair project. Mm-hmm. Maybe something is broken or damaged or you need some help on how to fix it. Or maybe he'll just tell you, you know, why don't you call a professional? Yeah. AA Lock, Lock and Security. Seth Posner will be here at 1105 to talk about the security of your home. Mm-hmm. and businesses and uh, all the technology that is used these days in keeping our stuff safe. Fun with Joe. Today, I think Anthony James is coming in. Am I yeah. right? Yep. A- Anthony said yesterday he would be able to fit us in today. Joe is not going to be able to be here, so Anthony is coming in, and yeah, Anthony is our travel expert. So I have some travel questions, but not what you're thinking. Ooh. These are time travel questions. Wow. Time travel questions. Cool. Um, When we have Galen on the phone, oh, a fun topic. Some of the perks of some of the major employers in this country, some of the best perks Mm -hmm. at the top employers of this country. What do you hear? Some of the things that are perks at the different jobs. What's the best perk you've ever had at a job? I guess the best perk I ever had. Well, I don't know if it's the best one. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite ones I like to talk about is when I worked at the pizza place in Santa Monica when I was 22 years old. Mm Mm-hmm. The pizza lady, the lady who owned the pizza place, told us we could burn two pizzas a day. Mm -hmm. And that was it. You couldn't burn more than two. And then she said, what that means is if you don't burn any, you can take two home. So technically, we could all take a pizza. Well, not we could all, but out of the staff there, which wasn't like that many people. (laughs) But you could take home a pizza every day. Yeah. If there was only two of you working, you know, right. each, if you, as long as you didn't burn one. So mm-hmm. it was kind of a cool park. We used to give them to the uh, homeless people up in the park. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So those are the things. Let's see what else there is to talk about. Um, the biker brawl in, um, is it in Waco. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just getting even weirder. There's a memo to law enforcement there warning that the banditos and the Cossacks may be arming themselves and heading to North Texas. Gosh. What? <laughs> Gee. These guys miss Sons of Anarchy, you know, since it's all gone and, and done and everything. So now they're picking up where they left off, I bet you. This is disgusting. Uh, regarding the Amtrak crash, uh, we don't know yet what caused last week's deadly Amtrak train derailment, but we now know it wasn't a bullet. The FBI was asked to figure out whether a mark on the train's windshield was made by something thrown at it. And they don't know, but they said it wasn't from a gun. But Mm -hmm. they don't know what it was. And something hit the southbound train, too. That's not in my news here, but I remember reading that the other day. Yeah, that was uh, disturbing when you talked about that. And by the way, today is, I need to mention this, today is National May Ray Day. 
Okay, what National is that? National May Ray Day. This is the day to be outside enjoying the sunshine and soaking oh, okay. up some rays. Okay. There are many ways to enjoy the outdoors on the warmer days. Nice. A picnic in the park, a walk along the river, volleyball in the sand, swimming in the beach, gardening, mm-hmm. or just lounging on the deck. A few of the ideas for National May Ray Day. There you go. And today's National Devil's Food Cake Day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> so Devil's Food is is rich, divine chocolate cake. It's have yummy. a piece. Go have a piece. Yeah. We'll be right back. <laughs> Fox News Radio. I'm Steve Rappaport. Police in Waco, Texas remain on high alert after a shootout between rival motorcycle gangs. Police say two months of good intel is what led them to post 18 officers plus four state troopers on a Sunday afternoon outside a Twin Peaks restaurant. A restroom altercation spilled onto the patio, then erupted into a gun battle, killing nine gang members, wounding 18, 170 arrested. Natalie Solis with Fox TV affiliate KDFW in Dallas. Some passengers aboard the Amtrak train that derailed in Philadelphia are taking the rail carrier to court. Attorney Tom Klein. The conduct here by the engineer is both unfathomable and unconscionable. Eight people died in the crash. And boxer Manny Pacquiao facing at least 32 class action lawsuits for not disclosing a shoulder injury before his fight with Floyd Mayweather. Fox News. We report. You decide. on your time. The Fox News iPad app is ready to go with all the great features from foxnews.com and our iPhone app optimized specifically for your iPad. Watch the latest clips from your favorite Fox News shows. Personalize the app by creating your own newscast using the video playlist. Listen to Fox News Radio live. Get local weather forecasts. And it's all free. Go to foxnews2go.mobi. That's foxnews, the number two, go.mobi. Some people would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never tried are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at values.com. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. Friday, May 29th, kicks off the second annual Ocala Bike Fest. It starts at Harley-Davidson of Ocala, where you'll find vendors, beer, food. It starts at 11 a.m. with a live DJ till 3 and live music.